I'm sure some of you reading this title feel a bit nostalgic, and it's because we used to make videos like these all the time. These were our bread and butter, just sorting through a bunch of different Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, eBay listings, uh, ads for PCs, PC parts, etc., and breaking down the good ones and the bad ones and why they were good and bad. We used to talk about individual component prices, we'd create PC part picker links, show examples of things you could buy that were much better deals than what sellers were asking for their hardware. Well, my friends, we are back at it this time we're gonna be looking at Facebook marketplace deals they're not really deals these are gonna be really really rough ads um, the ones you're seeing here actually are pretty pretty good for the most part uh, but you'll see that some folks are still living in la la land they think that their graphics cards are worth what they paid two years ago for them and right now card prices are coming down significantly uh, actually every week it seems we get closer and closer to MSRP for new releases uh, and the cards that have been on the market for two three years already those you can actually find under MSRP again which is just that's, oh, lovely. So we're gonna look at some awful ones and I implore you to stay as far away from these as possible. They are downright awful <laughs> and you're gonna see why here in a second. Are you ready? Stay with me. To get rid of that annoying Windows activation watermark, head on over to VIP SCD key. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a fraction of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye bye to the watermark. And be sure to use our offer code SKGS for a so sweet discount. Right, so let's jump straight into it. I think I have eight or nine listings here, and uh, the first one is already a doozy. So this here is the ad. You can see the setup actually looks quite nice. Got a cat right there in the photo. That's cool. Um, the build looks great. I, I have no complaints. Just aesthetically, it looks like it was built well. Whoever built this knew what he or she was doing. Um, it, you know, all around decent impressions until you get to the description. Now again, this is where you're gonna wanna brace for impact. So uh, complete gaming computer setup. This does include a few monitors and a few other things that you might not be interested in, but just, yeah, $4,400, okay? That, that's, already, that's already a kick in the teeth. He says, price is 4,400, I will not ship. I'm open to offers, but price is pretty firm as this would cost a good bit over $5,000 to build now without taxes or shipping included. Selling to fund a new custom loot PC I'm wanting to build and design the setup around. Everything works perfectly and most of the stuff I have receipts for are under a manufacturer's warranty still, no secondhand parts in this build. He said, it's a top of the line gaming setup, ideal for multitasking, gaming, streaming, content creation, music, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right, this dude is a, Freaking used car salesman, that's fantastic. Uh, he has a Core i7, a 10700K in here. That's that's not top of the line. That's a few, That's actually two generations old, and it wasn't even the best in that generation when it came out, but okay. 32 gigs of DDR4, uh, a 3070 Ti. That's, that's also not top of the line. And then for storage, you've got a 500 gig 970 Evo. That's not a lot of NVMe storage. And then a two terabyte Barracuda hard disk drive. That's, okay, all right, you guys get the point. Uh, he's including a 3440x1440p 120Hz G-Sync monitor and a uh, an Odyssey G7 that's 4K 144Hz. That's actually a pretty sweet monitor. Uh, and then a few like microphones and things. It's just yeah, all around, like the PC is the bulk of this, but do understand that you're getting a couple other things that are fairly pricey as well, including those monitors. He says that the total cost for him was $4,431.60, if you wanna take him at his word, and then he conveniently includes a PC par picker link. Now, if we click on said link, you'll find the price on here is actually lower than what he says it cost him. Now, obviously prices change, right? So that's, that shouldn't be news to anyone, but he says it would cost you over 5K to build today, and right now, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, he supplied the proof at that, so he's contradicting himself in a way. $4,181.87, and that includes all this crap. I mean, like, we're talking the keyboard, mouse, headset, a freaking Razer webcam, if you wanted that for $71. He's got both monitors in here. He's got a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for $137. You should never pay that much for a retail key. If, you, if, if at that point, all you wanna do is either buy retail or bust, just don't activate Windows, deal with the watermark. 140 bucks for that is just nuts. And I, I have my doubts about whether or not he even paid $137 for it, but that's beside the point. Um, everything else in here looks to be pretty accurate, but you can see the real blow to his budget, I believe, is the RTX 3070 Ti here. This is priced right now on Amazon at 759 bucks or so, and I'm almost certain he paid a lot more than this if he built it a few months to maybe a year ago. Um, it, these cards were like 12, 13, 14, 1500 dollars. 
And the fact that you can get one for half that price now is what I imagine is offsetting his expectations a bit. So uh, I would be very disappointed if someone actually paid him anything over four grand for this, considering most of these components are used. Now on to listing number two. This person's calling this a complete streaming setup, $4,000. Oof, this uh, better be a good one. Open to trades for anything. <laughs> It just wants a gun, I guess. I have a complete streaming, editing, gaming, literally do anything setup. Just want offers. PC, a Core i7 10, 10700K in a $4,000 system. 16 gigs of DDR4, I imagine. RTX 2060 Super. This, <laughs> I love it. Very new. Uh, that That's great and all, but uh, <laughs> I can't swallow this 2060 Super in a $4,000 build problem. I guess it's great that we're getting a 27 inch 165 Hertz monitor in here, as well as a 24 inch 75 Hertz monitor and a Dell 22 inch monitor. Although you haven't actually given me specific model names. So I, I don't know what these cost. This isn't specific enough. I imagine this one is a pretty cheap monitor because well, these stats are pretty underwhelming. And I think this Dell monitor is just like as bare bones as it gets. Let's see in the photos here, do we have anything that reveals the kinds of monitors that we're working with. That, that looks like the Dell, mo yeah, that's, so these are really, really, it looks like he stole this out of my high school. Also the part where he says, XLR mic, don't remember brand, but it's nice. <laughs> like, thanks bro. Are you, are you sure you even know what you're selling here? He says he doesn't play games or stream. All he ever uses it for is editing videos or photos and don't need something this big. Well, um, that's, that's great and all, but four grand, you are way off the mark, my friend. Now the next one arguably is just as bad. This is just titled gaming PC. And this person wants $3,800 for just the rig. It's got an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X in it, which is a great CPU, four sticks of DDR4, 32 gigs. I'm assuming that's what this is here. Uh, two SSD hard drives, which, which is it? An M.2 500 gig, an external one terabyte SSD. All right, a GPU, <laughs> an Asus 2060 Super. Hey, another 2060 Super hits the list, but uh, this guy just, he's willing to trade it. He's just asking way too much for it. 3,800 bucks, like you're probably twice the list price this should be at. I mean, I, this is under two grand easily in today's market. Now this next listing's pretty good. It's an Omen 30L and you can buy these from sites like uh, Best Buy. You can even go in store in the Best Buy and sometimes they'll have them in stock. This is just a pre-built from HP. And this person wants $3,500 for this, but the description and the specs are extremely underwhelming. Firstly, we have a bunch of stuff here that's just frankly not all that important. Like, what is this? Like, why even, you know, include this crap? This is stuff that's just copied and pasted straight from the company website, and it's a huge turnoff. List the relevant stuff, right? The 3060 Ti that you get in here, the Z490 motherboard, you get the, your storage drives, right? You get two two terabyte NVMEs, two two terabyte hard disk drives, um, <laughs> McAfee, I don't know if that's relevant or not, probably not. 64 gigs of DDR4, um, you yeah, know, most office trial, Windows 10 ADV, no Optane, like what? No Optane. Okay, great. And then a liquid cooled i9 10850K. Now this is the best part in my opinion, selling it at a $700 loss. So you'll be saving that and taxes on it. Oh, you're doing me such a big favor here. Much appreciated. Total price paid for it was $4,077.63. It's in like new condition. The price is firm. I will not reply to any email for a negotiate price. Cash for only if I am meeting you in person. I am not looking for any trades. Looking to sell only. Please don't message me asking if I want to trade. <laughs> that just makes me want to ask even more now. Like <laughs> I really want to say, will you accept a trade for this? <laughs> Typically the way the internet works, and I'm sure most of you know this already, if you call too much attention to something, it's bound to happen. Like you could just say no trades, please, or something like that. Something along those lines where it's just like a single sentence that lets the person shopping know that you're not interested in them. But when you call too much attention to it, you're almost asking for it. It's a bit like sticking, you know, fragile, no dropping stickers all over a package that you're shipping via UPS or FedEx. It, it, it's going to be dropped just because you told them not to so many times. So this is a, uh, this is a listing I found for 1929 bucks. Now I'm sure you could spec this even higher. Let's see, this is a $2,049 one. Let's see what this one is. So this is a one terabyte SSD, a 3080 in it. Now the storage is definitely lacking. First off, we have 16 gigs of DDR4 instead of 32. And we also don't have anywhere near the, the actual physical storage capacity for media and the like. However, 
we have a significantly better graphics card in here and an arguably better AMD Ryzen 7 CPU in here, and we're only paying two grand for it. So $2,000 for this, and you want how much? Like in the high threes for your rig? That is inferior in many ways? there's a huge disconnect here. So I think the pattern you're starting to see here is that folks are living in the past. They are assuming that because they spent two grand on their 3080 two years ago, that somehow those prices still must make sense today. And they don't because you can buy a 3080 right now, brand new for under a thousand bucks. That's how quickly this market swings. It did it back in 2018. It'll do it again now. Uh, and I'm sure it'll happen again in the future. It tends to repeat itself right over and over these, these trends of, you know, things get expensive and then very cheap and then expensive again. And it's just the ebb and flow of supply and demand, right? We can't expect to pay a huge premium to help out this seller who just happened to buy at the worst time in history. Okay, we don't need to do anyone any favors. It's our job to maximize value and to pay as little as possible as the buyer for whatever good or service we're looking for. And it's the seller's job to maximize profit. But if you are so far apart because the seller's expectations are just clearly coming from a different planet, then there's just no point even bothering, right? Still, some folks will entertain this. They might reach out to this person and they might even pay what he or she is asking because they don't do any ounce of research at all. And some would argue at that point, they kind of deserve it, right? Moving on then, let's see, what do we have next? Oh yes, okay, this was a mining, this was, <laughs> this was a mining listing that I wanted to show you guys. So this is a mining rig that was literally assembled on some Amazon basic shelves. <laughs> They're just laying there. So it's not a professional setup by any means. You can see it's got a 1300 watt G plus power supply. That's gonna be a few hundred bucks in and of itself used, but still the platform is probably very cheap. They don't need to be, you know, beefy by any means. It's the graphics cards that do all the work here. And there are eight cards in total, seven 3060 Ti's, one 3070, all Founders Edition models. And this person has these listed for $10,000. How? Again, living in the past, that, that, that's not what you can buy these for today. These are under a thousand bucks a pop. But if you do the math, this person wants over a thousand dollars each. This next one's a funny one. Uh, $7,000 brand new pro gaming PC. It says he just built in it. Um, getting the graphics card was a mission. Selling the entire set. If interested, ask for more details. Graphics card, NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti. We're already off to a disastrous start. You want seven grand. For a build that is very beautiful, mind you, it's, it's it, you can tell it was assembled professionally or by someone who at least knows what he or she's doing, and you've got a freaking 3070 Ti in it. Like this card costs un again under a thousand bucks. So where's the other six grand coming from? Six grand plus. Uh, we've got a Ryzen 7 5800X in here. That's a few hundred bucks by this point. Uh, a B5. You don't even give us X570. You give us a B550 board. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's clearly the cheaper option in a seven grand rig. I don't feel very, very good about that at all. And uh, 64 gigs of RAM, which you're not giving us anything else here. I, I need more info, okay? I shouldn't have to ask you for more details in a listing like this. Just save us both the hassle and include the important details ahead of time. So this was originally listed for $4,200. It's okay looking. I, I think it, I don't know, I don't like this case very much. There's a bit too much empty space in here, but for $4,200 originally, it had a 3070 Ti in it, four terabytes worth of hard disk drive storage, I think. There's a one terabyte M.2 in here, and I don't even know how much RAM. Like, it just says 3200 DDR4. I don't I don't know what that is. Uh, Intel Core i9, 11th gen, Z590, Microsoft Home, an AIO. Um, you know, it's like, it's, it's a decent mid to high end rig, but then 4,200 OBO. Now here's the, here's the funny part. This person probably realized that their asking price was just outlandish. So they dropped it to a, a much more reasonable, right? $3,400, which is still horse crap. That is still way more than you should be paying for this rig. I think this person's gonna be in for a rude awakening in a few days. And we've got one more here. I, uh, I saved a pretty good one for last. It's it's borderline laughable. So this is a very basic description for an ITX gaming PC listed at $5,200. It says special custom ITX build ASUS Strix 3080, Intel Core i9-11900K, overclocked, NZXT Kraken Z63, 
and ITX case. Again, what is up with people asking this much money for stuff that they don't even bother listing out properly? You're missing half of the specs here and the specs that you did include are super vague. I have a feeling I know what this case is, but I'm not totally sure. And I do see some issues with the way that it like, th okay, th so you've got a, a power supply fan just laid directly against a tempered glass panel. That ain't gonna end well. This first shot is pretty cool. I didn't know you could upload, like, I don't know if this is a GIF or not or, or a full-fledged video, but uh, here on Facebook Marketplace, I guess you can upload stuff like this now. And you can see the lights and the, you know, the LCD screen here, or the, I think it's an OLED screen for these Z63s. But anyway, it, it's a good looking build, apart from the very obvious choking of airflow here for the power supply. But where's the $5,200 coming from? Again, if you're gonna ask this much money, at least bother to spell out the specs. But the specs that you do have here are super underwhelming. And this is a 3080, which is a really good card, but we're missing a lot. So at the very least, if you have the guts to ask this much money for stuff, just give me more info, okay? Don't create more work for yourself and for the buyer by listing as bare minimum specs as possible in your, in your ad, and then kind of just leaving the rest hanging. Like you're just hoping that someone comes along who has no idea what he or she's doing, sees $5,200 and assumes, oh, this has to be a killer rig and just pays it. Maybe you negotiate down to five grand because you feel like you're getting a steal, right? But you're still massively overpaying unless there's just something super obvious that I'm missing here. Um, and if I am, check the pinned comment down below. But if there's not a pinned comment, I probably didn't miss something. And I, I don't think that I did just glancing at this. I mean, it's, it's a great build. Uh, looks really nice. I love the white theme, but that's not a two or three thousand dollar premium. It's it's just not. With that though, I want to end by telling you what I think is the worst of the ads here, and for me, that's the 30L Omen HP PC because this person has a very searchable product. You can very easily look up a model very similar to this on Best Buy's website. And it's very clear to anyone who does an ounce of due diligence that this system is way overpriced as it is. You cannot justify your asking price by saying, well, this is what I paid for it. That makes absolutely no sense. I, I imagine you go into a car dealer and you say the same thing, right? Oh, I've used this car for two years, but I paid 40 grand for it, so that's what I want. It's just not gonna happen. You're gonna be lapped out of the room, and the same goes for pretty much any other hardware out there. Even in a supply shortage environment like the one we've experienced for a year or two, it's gonna be very difficult to get what you paid for it. Maybe you get a bit more. I guess the car example really didn't, really didn't resonate all that well, given the odd situation we're in where people are getting more for their cars than they paid for them. I, I actually just experienced that myself. I sold my 911 and I got more than I paid for it two years earlier and I put like 10,000 miles on it. That was kind of a crappy example, but you get you get the point, right? In a normal market, which this one is quickly becoming, it's, 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 it's much, much easier to buy a graphics card today for a decent price than it was two years ago. You just can't use that excuse anymore. And again, it just, it seems like a pattern with folks who are just living in the past and they think that markets don't change as quickly as they do. And I can pretty much guarantee you if you aren't, you know, at least weekly, maybe monthly checking prices, kind of doing that bit of research, particularly before you list, a list uh, an ad like this where you're asking $3,500 or more, um, if you don't do that that research, you're either intentionally overpricing something for the sake of being debatably predatory and, and misleading, or you are just so disconnected from reality that um, you genuinely think it's worth that. And I suppose it might work out for you in the end because you might find some sucker who just doesn't do the research again. Maybe that person deserves it at that point because they didn't do the research. But it's not gonna stop me from making videos like these and it's not gonna stop me from calling out ads that I think are ridiculous. And this one is the worst of those, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, which of these was the worst for you. And if you disagree with anything I said in this video, open forum down below, have at it. I appreciate you watching this far into this video. If you haven't subscribed already, get subscribed. Consider giving this one a thumbs up and yeah, leave that comment down below. My name is Greg. Thanks for cringing with me.